black holes are enormous monsters of the cosmos, strange phenomena with gravitational pulls so powerful that not even light can escape their grasp. Unfortunately, a black hole has been discovered in our backyard. This new black hole is only a few light years away, making it possible to observe the stars that circle it without the aid of a telescope. This black hole is not only the nearest one we have discovered, but it is also the first one to be observed in a triple system and one of the few known examples of an inactive black hole. Does that increase or decrease its danger? That's right, a massive black hole is headed straight for Earth and there's no way out. The combination of those two facts is understandably unsettling. This is the nearest one that we are aware of, but there must be many more around that we haven't yet discovered. What would we do if we accidentally fell into a black hole? Or what if they collide with our planet? Join us as we explore the closest black hole to Earth and how unsettling and terrifying that is for scientists and us. Nothing can escape a black hole. Its gravitational pull is so strong that even the brightest of light can't survive, which is exactly how the interesting spectacle earned its name. The implosion of a massive star at the conclusion of its life is theorized to be the origin of black holes in space. Even though there are millions of them, scientists often have trouble spotting them. However, a major breakthrough was made when astronomers borrowed some methods from exoplanet searchers. A new black hole has been discovered. Astronomers have discovered that the closest black holes to Earth could be lurking in the Hyades Cluster, which sits only around 150 light years from the Sun. These black holes may have been cast out from the star cluster millions of years ago, leaving the stars to their own devices. This would still put them within a distance of around 10 times that of the black hole, formerly thought to be the nearest to Earth. The Hyades are a large open star cluster in the constellation Taurus. This cluster of stars is an open cluster, a group of stars that originated together out of the same giant cloud of gas and dust. That's why we know stars inside the same type of cluster have fundamental properties, including chemical makeup and ages. In order to make the identification of what could be the closest black holes to our planet, a team led by Stefano Tornamenti, a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Padua, produced a simulation of the movements and evolutions of stars in the Hyades. Black holes were also included in the equation when the simulation was produced. The scientists then compared the simulated velocities and positions of the open cluster's star population with those obtained from previous measurements. The Gaia Space Telescope is responsible for the later dataset. Tornamenti and co-workers discovered that models including two or three black holes inside the star cluster were most consistent with observations of the Hyades. Gaia data also agrees with simulations that include black holes in the star cluster, which were likely expelled no more than 150 million years ago. Since the Hyades star cluster is just about 625 million years old, if those black holes were forcibly flung from the cluster at that time, the collection of stars would not have evolved sufficiently to eradicate evidence of their prior existence. According to the researchers, even if the black holes were kicked out of the Hyades by now, they would still be the closest black holes to Earth. Prior holders of the closest black hole to Earth record were Gaia BH1 and Gaia BH2, which, as their names imply, were uncovered with Gaia data just this year. The distance between Gaia BH1 and Earth is approximately 1,560 and 3,800 light years, respectively. Comically speaking, the two black holes are rather close to Earth, yet they are still 10 to 20 times further distant than the Hyades cluster and its possible black hole pair or trio. Launched in 2013, Gaia has been radically altering astronomy, as evidenced by both this latest study and the earlier finding of Gaia BH1 and BH2. Since the advent of the Space Telescope, astronomers have been able to track the locations and velocities of individual stars in dense stellar clusters like the Hyades. Since Gaia can track the locations and velocities of billions of stars against a backdrop sky, it is possible to make such discoveries. 
Tracking stellar movements with such great accuracy helps to detect gravitational factors tugging on these stars, even if that influence comes from hidden objects like small, stellar mass black holes. The impact of black holes on the evolution of star clusters is clarified by this observation. These findings also shed light on the distribution of these enigmatic objects in the cosmos. HR 6819 is another nearby black hole, and its cosmic home may be seen in the night sky without the aid of a telescope. The black hole is located in the southern constellation of Telescopium, roughly a thousand light years from Earth, and has two luminous naked eye partner stars. However, the black hole itself is invisible because its gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape its grasp. This black hole was initially discovered by astronomers analyzing what they believe to be a binary star system in which two stars orbit around a common center of mass. The HR 6819 binary was observed as part of a larger research on double star systems using the MPG ESO 2.2 meter telescope at Chile's La Silla Observatory. After analyzing their data, the researchers were surprised to discover a previously unknown third component. A black hole. Although the black hole eluded direct observation, its gravitational effects on the other two objects allowed the scientists to infer its presence. After monitoring the system for a while, they were able to construct an orbital map of the stars, which led them to conclude that there was another enormous, unseen object at work in the system. The observations also showed that one of the two stars rounds the invisible object every 40 days while the other star hangs out by itself at a considerably greater distance from the black hole. They determined that it is a black hole with a stellar mass, meaning it formed from the collapse of a dying star and has a mass roughly four times that of the Sun. An unseen object with a mass at least four times that of the Sun can only be a black hole. The next closest black hole to Earth is located in the constellation Monoceros, roughly 3,000 light-years distant from us, and is around the same size as HR 6819. Astronomers think that there are millions of black holes in our galaxy alone, but there may be others that are even closer that have yet to be spotted. From stellar mass bodies to supermassive beasts in the centers of galaxies, black holes span a wide range of sizes and masses. It is believed that supermassive black holes weighing millions to billions of times as much as our Sun lurk in the centers of nearly all galaxies. Two adjacent galaxies house the largest black holes yet found, which were discovered in 2011. The central black hole of NGC 3842, the brightest galaxy in the 320 million light-year away LEO cluster, has a mass of 9.7 billion suns. NGC 4889, the most luminous member of the distant Coma cluster, features a black hole of similar or greater mass. The gravitational range, or event horizon, of these black holes is nearly five times the distance from the Sun to Pluto. The black hole at the center of our galaxy, which has an event horizon a sixth the size of Mercury's orbit, is 2,500 times smaller than these. It's possible that the tiniest black hole found so far has a mass less than three times that of our Sun. This would place the black hole IGRJ 17,913,624 officially very close to the theoretical minimum limit required for stability. Despite its small size, this black hole appears to be quite dangerous, as its winds may reach speeds of 20 million miles per hour which is approximately 10 times faster than anything measured from a black hole with a stellar mass. Anything that is unlucky enough to drift too close to a black hole is devoured, including other black holes. Recent observations have shown that the supermassive black hole at the center of one galaxy is being devoured by an even larger black hole in another galaxy. The finding is the first of its kind. Major mergers, which involved two galaxies of comparable masses, were spotted by astronomers, while minor mergers involving galaxies and smaller partners have escaped researchers for a long time. Researchers using NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory found two black holes at the heart of a galaxy designated NGC 3393, 
One with a mass of around 30 million times that of the Sun, and the other with a mass of at least 1 million times that of the Sun, and both are only about 490 light-years apart. Although black holes have always been thought of as vacuums, recent research has shown that they can really eject matter. The black hole, H1743-322, located about 28,000 light-years from Earth, has been observed to have sucked material off a companion star and spewed some of it out as gigantic bullets of gas traveling at nearly a quarter of the speed of light. Its mass is estimated to be between 5 and 10 times that of the Sun. Officially designated as ULACE J1342 plus 0928, the oldest black hole ever discovered was born some 690 million years after the Big Bang that created our universe. This black hole's advanced age presents challenges for astronomers. It appears that the mass of this bright mystery is 112 billion times that of the Sun. It's unclear what caused black holes to grow so enormous so quickly after the Big Bang. Black holes are the most bright, powerful, and energetic things in the universe, but their gravitational pull is so intense that not even light can escape. As supermassive black holes at the nuclei of galaxies draw in surrounding gas and dust, they can spit out vast amounts of energy. To date, J043947, 08 plus 163415. 7 has been found to be the brightest quasar, located around 12.8 billion light years from Earth. Black holes can be ejected from the scene of a galaxy collision and go on a cosmic adventure. SDSS J0927 plus 2943 is the first such rogue black hole discovered, and it may have a mass of 600 million times that of the Sun and travel across space at a speed of 5.9 million miles per hour. The Milky Way could be traversed by hundreds of black holes that have gone rogue. Traditional scientific wisdom holds that there are three basic black hole sizes, small, medium, and big. Relatively small black holes with the mass of a few suns are frequent, but supermassive black holes with millions to billions of solar masses are predicted to lurk at the heart of practically every galaxy. For instance, the Milky Way's core is speculated to conceal a black hole with a mass greater than 4 million suns. But until 2009, scientists couldn't seem to pin down what exactly middleweight black holes were. About 290 million light-years from Earth, scientists found the first intermediate-mass black hole, dubbed HLX-1 or Hyperluminous X-ray Source 1. Size estimates put the strange object at around 20,000 solar masses. Knowing more about these intermediate black holes can help us better comprehend the evolution of both supermassive black holes and the galaxies that host them. In addition, black holes can spin the fabric of space around themselves at incredible velocities. More than 950 times per second, a black hole known as GRS 1915 plus 105 is whirling in the constellation Aquila, the Eagle, which is roughly 35,000 light years from Earth. At more than 333 million miles per hour, or roughly half the speed of light, an object placed on the edge of the black hole's event horizon would spin around it. Even though black holes are quite remote from Earth, there are still many mysteries surrounding them that scientists have yet to answer. However, scientists are now attempting to replicate the mysterious qualities of black holes in tabletop models. For instance, black holes contain gravitational pulls so tremendous that nothing, including light, can escape after falling past a border known as the event horizon. Researchers have constructed a fiber-optic event horizon in the laboratory. The so-called Hawking radiation that is expected to escape from black holes has also been replicated. More so, the monstrous black holes that are the loneliest may also be the hungriest. New research reveals that supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies in cosmic deserts, where neighbors are scarce and stellar nutrition is scarce, yet manage to chow down on material more frequently than their counterparts in more populous sections of the galaxy. Over the past decade, astronomers have argued over whether or not galaxy mergers, like the one currently taking place between the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy, are the primary triggers that remove material from galaxies and funnel it to the massive black holes at their centers. 
New studies, which detected over 20,000 hungry black holes in lonely slices of the cosmos, known as cosmic voids, suggest that these unseen creatures snack more often when there are fewer interacting neighbors to interrupt them. These results cast doubt on our standard model for galaxy evolution. These vast, empty regions of the universe are known as 3D bubbles of space, and they can span over 500 million light years in diameter. It is estimated that half of our universe consists of empty space or cosmic voids, which are home to 20% of the universe's galaxies. Growing evidence suggests that the Milky Way, too, is surrounded by a spherical emptiness with a radius of at least one billion light years, making it seven times larger than the typical cosmic void. The remaining 80% of galaxies in the universe are thought to be born in denser regions, where anything from 50 to 1,000 galaxies huddle together in galactic clusters. 80% of galaxies reside in denser regions of the universe, where they are close enough to each other to interact gravitationally and eventually merge. This is how galaxies get their raw material to fuel their central supermassive black holes. The specific mechanism by which matter is funneled into the black hole, and at what point it begins snacking or munching on that surrounding matter, is, however, a source of intense controversy. The merger theory lacks a robust explanation of how black holes form in galaxies that are friendless in their cosmic vicinity and hence do not interact with one another a process thought to be necessary to make star food available. To better understand the process by which black holes begin to eat, researchers have examined hungry, supermassive black holes in the most distant galaxies, or cosmic voids. If galaxies can avoid interacting with and being stripped by their neighbors, they will have a better chance of channeling that fuel toward the centers of supermassive black holes. Over 20,000 previously undetected actively feeding black holes were found by studying the brightness variations of roughly 290,000 galaxies over the course of eight years of data from NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer Sky Mapping Observatory. Previous surveys of galaxy voids looked for objects in the visible or mid-infrared spectrum. The latter used detected light to classify the activity within galaxies. For example, blue light indicates vigorous star formation, while red light indicates emissions from a hungry black hole feeding on material. Star-forming vacuum galaxies, on the other hand, drown out the light from feeding black holes within them because of their own bluer light emissions. This is how they remained undetected in earlier investigations. Instead, this research investigated telltale oscillations in the brightness of infrared light over time that betrayed the presence of feeding black holes, whose activity turned out to be more common in small or mid-sized galaxies than huge ones, the team concluded. When smaller galaxies are isolated from their neighbors, they are able to nibble more efficiently. Now, aside from the obvious, have you ever considered what would occur if Earth fell into a black hole? Thanks to the online black hole collision calculator, you can now find out. For example, our planet's dramatic death would release about 54 quintillion times humanity's total annual energy consumption. This is the equivalent of more than 500 septillion Hiroshima nuclear bombs. The black hole's event horizon, the point of no return beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape, would expand by only 0.000000000728 if it swallowed our poor, beleaguered planet. It would be a supermassive black hole, comparable in size to the one at the center of our galaxy, Sagittarius A star. What if, however, we encountered a black hole with a mass of only 20 suns? Well, then we'd make more of a dent, creating 0.00001456.2% event horizon growth. There are countless black holes in the universe, and they don't aimlessly devour planets. Like all other things in space, they are subject to the pull of gravity. Even the largest black holes, which are considerably more powerful than the Sun and are aimed directly at Earth, pose no danger, for now. Fortunately, we are not in danger, but black holes may nevertheless have an unanticipated and distinct effect on us. However, let's just concentrate on everything that is occurring on Earth in the interim.